Now let's talk a little bit about memory management or the use of memory on an Arduino. Now this is a pretty big topic and something that I am definitely not going to dive deeply into. There's a lot of code online and information on the Arduino website and it gets very complicated very fast. But from a prototyping standpoint, I'd like to talk about EEPROM, E-E-P-R-O-M, and that is the non-volatile memory on the Arduino. This one happens to have 1024K of EEPROM available to me, and I'm gonna show you how to write to it and how to read to it. Now, why would you wanna do that? Well, I'll answer that question through a couple of examples and code to show you why it's so important. So let's go ahead and get started. So now let's go ahead and make a sketch that writes to the EEPROM. So I don't need anything in the loop. I actually only need a void setup and a library. So the void setup would be EEPROM, all caps, right? And then you have an address. Now there's different addresses and there's a different amount of addresses and different amount of memory. Check your data sheet to figure this all out. So for this instance, let's just write to zero and now let's write the data that we want to store in this non-volatile memory. Remember, this is memory that if it's turned off, will not go away. Now you say, wait a minute, if I turn my Arduino off, the Blink sketch doesn't go away. If I unplug it and I plug it back in, Blink is still there. But if I were to be reading a sensor and reading a value from a sensor, say how much light I'm reading, if I unplug this, that data of how much light I read is now gone right? Because it's only reading in that loop. Read the sensor data. I see it, save it. So if we want to save sensor data, we can write it to the EEPROM. And I'll show you how that works. So we're going to write to address zero and let's just write one, two, three. Now why one, two, three? Well, here's another limiting factor. You can only write between zero and 256. So you can't write 55,100, whatever, right? You can only write those, those numbers, anything between zero and 256. So I'll write one, two, three. You'll also need to include so hashtag include, and it's called eeprom.h, and that's the EEPROM library. It's built in. You don't need to do anything. Let's verify it. Oh, I'm going to have to save this, so I'll call it eeprom test. It's compiling, and it's done. All I do is upload it, and guess what? Nothing magical is going to happen, although you'll notice that the blink stops blinking. So I'm done. I've uploaded. I've written to the non-volatile memory the number 123. So how would I look at that? So let's copy this, create a new sketch, paste it in. Instead of write, let's change it to read. And we certainly don't need to read 0123. We just need to read the address of 0, which is where we wrote it, 0, 1, 2, or 3. And that's all we need to do. So now let's upload this to the board. And I'm gonna to have to save this as EEPROM read test. Once I upload it, that is now reading that address. Well, big deal. We don't really know because we can't see it. So let's add a serial print in here. So let's add a serial.begin. 9600 and then right after the read let's do a serial print and let's take the eprom read put it into the serial print just like you would any kind of serial print let's verify that looks good we can even do a quick auto format make it look a little better but that's it that's all the code there is well, let's tighten it up so you can really see how ridiculously small this program is i have nothing in the loop because i don't want it to run over and over so now if i upload this and open up my serial monitor you can see i got one two three now that's pretty cool. Now what's the power in that? Well, how about this? Let's go back to Blink and let's upload Blink to the Arduino. There we go. Now the Blink sketch is running, right? So the Arduino should be erased. I erased all the code that was written to the Arduino or to this microcontroller on the Arduino board. So all the code has been erased, right? It's gone. 
not the EEPROM. So if I go back to the EEPROM and I upload the EEPROM and open up my serial monitor, let's see it upload and boom, one, two, three is there. So you can see I'm able to write different sketches to the Arduino and still have that EEPROM. But the real value would be if I'm reading something, if I wanna take a measurement of, let's just say how much water passed through a piece of equipment that I have my Arduino hooked up to, I could now save the total volume of water through a flow sensor or a water level sensor. And if the power goes out, anything happens, or I need to reset the code or reset the program, in the EEPROM, I could store that value.